Hi everyone. So this is where I'm at right now. We moved over to our new apartment and all my manga has just been sitting on the floor like this for a few days while we got everything moved over. But also, while my husband built these bookcases for me. So we did end up getting two of the tall white mainstays bookcases from Walmart. And my husband actually drilled extra holes in them for me. This was a bookcase that was advertised as having adjustable shelves, but each section where a shelf was supposed to go, they would only have five holes. So my husband drilled some extra holes so that I could add a second shelf here. This section was only supposed to have one extra shelf. And then this top section was only supposed to have two extra shelves and so he drilled extra holes along here too so that I could put in an extra one there too. So we haven't gotten any extra white shelves yet so that's why these four shelves are from my old bookcase and they're just temporary for now. We're probably gonna get white ones but I just want to see how I can make it all work. Planning to watch some Al Ashi while I put my books up and drink some cider. But once I get some books on the shelf, I won't keep my drink up there, so don't worry. But I'm really excited to have these white bookcases. I'm kind of annoyed at the quality of these bookcases. Like, I'll zoom in so you can see. But here on the bottom, just like, What's that all about? And then at the top, my husband had to actually loosen the top piece because the shelves wouldn't slide in. It was loose here at the front, but then it was super tight at the back. So I don't know. But I think I'm just gonna record this mountain of books in time lapse as I am picking them up and putting them on the shelves. And then as I get the shelves organized, I'm not gonna leave them on the shelf because we still need to secure it to the wall. We live in an area that has earthquakes regularly and this is my bedroom. So I don't want my bookcase and all of my manga to fall on me if we have an earthquake so I'm gonna put all the manga on the shelves make sure all of the shelves are adjusted right and then I'm gonna take them off for my husband to find the studs on the wall and drill them in to secure them and then I'll put them back on and and share how it looks after that so here it goes Okay, so the bookcases are all set up and anchored to the wall. So now I feel safe even when I'm just sitting on the floor in front of them. But this bookcase originally came with having five shelves. And so now each side will have seven shelves. So we were able to get two extra white shelves to replace the black ones, but I'm just gonna keep these two black ones until I can maybe get a hold of white ones. But once I got the spacing kind of figured out, then my husband tightened the screws along the top. So 
I feel like it'll be really hard to pull them out if I want to change them later, so I guess we'll see. So now I'm gonna get all my manga volumes and art books on the shelves. So as I put them on the shelves, don't think I'm super organized and have my life all together because I did spend like an entire day planning out which series we're gonna go on which shelves and figuring out how to make them all fit and how to make them look nice with the spacing of the shelves. But then I had to pull everything off so that we could get them moved and tightened and adjusted and anchored to the wall. So now I'm gonna get them loaded up. So I hope you enjoy the sounds of all of the manga volumes being loaded onto the shelves.
All right, so I got it all done. I'll give an overview of my shelves and then kind of just show each shelf a little bit. I'm not gonna talk about each series though because that would probably take an additional like 40 minutes to add on to this video, so. That's how it's looking. So starting with these bottom three rows, on this bottom corner and in this top corner, I have two of my Adventure Shoujo series. So Snow White with the red hair, I had enough to fill in the whole shelf because it's ongoing, so I'll have plenty of room as I get more volumes. And same with Yona of the Dawn, I have all my Yona booklets, my Shin A drawing that my husband did, and I have plenty of room for more of the volumes as they come in. Down here I have all of my art books and most of my extras like fan books, guidebooks, and then a few Japanese, miscellaneous Japanese volumes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them because some of them do have English releases coming and I got them just for the special booklets that came with them, so I'm not sure yet. Then these three shelves are my high school romance series. I think I left enough room here on this shelf. I'm missing one omnibus and one volume of Horimiya. And I think they'll fit on there, so I was happy about that. And then Kimi ni Tadoke, I just gave a whole shelf because it almost fills it up, especially with the little extras like the fan book and guidebook. And then over here I have a few other miscellaneous ones. These are the Fruits Basket illustration books. And couple others and then this is going to be my section for Mika Yamamori because this is volume one of a 13 volume series that just started releasing and she has another series that the first volume comes out next month in November so that one will go right here as they're releasing. Moving up to my middle shelves so these two shelves were able to hold a little more weight because of the way that the shelf is built into the bookcase. So I definitely wanted my Attack on Titan shelf to be on a shelf that could hold more weight because those colossal editions are heavy. And then I have it decorated with a few of my Japanese display volumes and Nendoroids, an art book and the No Regrets hardcover back behind. So I do have two more Attack on Titan art books down below, but those ones were too tall for that shelf and pretty heavy too, so I just left them down below. And then over here, I have a couple of my favorite series, Love of Kill and Tokyo Revengers. So I'm definitely going to need more space for Tokyo Revengers in the future because this is only two of the omnibus volumes and they're gonna be at least 16, and I do have more Tokyo Avengers and Androids on the way, so I wanted to have these two series on this shelf though because it's a little taller so I could display my favorite art book as well as these two little Shikishi imprint that I have for them. And then this next shelf going all the way across to here is my adult romances. So all of these ones, and then this right here is kind of comedy and slice of life. And then up here is kind of, I don't know, fantasy or my husband's Zelda and Sword Art Online with the Nendoroids. I also thought it would be fun to put Kirito and Asuna by my dress up darling because I imagine Marin would want to cosplay as Asuna at some point, or maybe as Kirito. But then continuing along that shelf, I have Kona Oto Tamare with my two new prints. This one's ongoing as well, so as I get more volumes, I can fit them in. And then up above, some of my more serious series erased, My Boy, and then a few sports series. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I did purposefully leave some space here at the top with thoughts that if I 
pick up a few more series or as I need to adjust things, I'll have the space for it. Also, my husband might eventually take some of these and put them on a different bookshelf for himself. We do have a few more Zelda art books like this one that were too tall to fit with my art books on the bottom shelf, but then they were a little too heavy to put on this top shelf. I was worried that it would be too heavy for the capacity of that shelf. So we'll see, but I am pretty happy with this. I do have a lot of ongoing series on some of these shelves and down below, but I think I organized everything in a way that I'll be able to tuck in new releases as I get them. And then once I do eventually run out of space, I'll just have to figure out a way to either make it all fit or eventually I do have space to scoot things around if I did want to get a third bookcase in the future, but I think I'm still a ways off. But this is my new setup my manga collection and I will plan to do some kind of collection shelf tour video soon in the future where I can talk about each series I have in my collection. Thank you so much if you stuck around to the end of the video making that whole trip from my last apartment packing up all my books and moving over here so super super excited to have my books off the floor and organized on these two bookcases. It's kind of crazy that the bookcases I had before were only about this tall and I somehow managed to fit all of these. Well, I guess not all of them because I did just get some of these series while I was in the process of moving, but all of my collection other than those new ones, I had fit on just this much space, so. I'm happy to be able to spread everything out so that I can actually have my favorite covers and prints and things on display. Let me know what you think of my new setup in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.